Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another interesting video of VI Tech Academy YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Ratul and I'm your host for today's video. Guys, in this video, we are going to see how you can use AI with your NVIDIA. Yes, friends, if you are a NVIDIA user, so you can use AI within your NVIDIA. By using this AI tool, you can get the image description at anywhere in your desktop or computer screen. So to learn about how to use the AI with your NVDA and get all of these exclusive features, stick to the video till the end. If you first time visit to VI Tech Academy, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more useful tutorials with screen readers. After subscribing, press the bell icon and choose all notifications so you'll never miss any upload. If you want to support us, you can join us as a member and enjoy exclusive benefits such as early access videos, fast reply and much more. Click on the join button to learn more about membership. Thank you so much to them, those who have already joined us as a member and directly supporting us. If you're interested, you can join us on social medias like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and Telegram. You can join our technical forums in WhatsApp and Telegram also. We have language based technical forums in WhatsApp. To know more about, visit our website from the about page. Also, we are providing certified online courses to the persons with print disabilities. If you're interested, check out our courses from our website, which is available at the about page of our channel. To use AI with NVIDIA, you have to install one NVIDIA add-on and then you need to generate one API key. Many of you have already learned about, already hear about the add-on AI Content Describer, right? If you heard about this add-on, let me know in the comment section that yes, I heard or something like this. But most of you have noticed that you must require an API key to use this add-on. And if you are using ChatGPT or GPT-4 um, API keys, then you have to pay $5 you have to pay. But today I'm going to show you how you can use this add-on without paying a single penny. Yes, you can generate API keys for free and you can use this add-on for free. So let's start learning. So first we need to install the add-on. To install the add-on, Open NVIDIA menu by pressing insert plus N. NVIDIA menu. Then press T followed by A. Or you can go to tool sub menu. Then open add ons manager. Add on store installed add ons. This is the add ons store. Audacity multi. From here, I need to choose the. This action other than install from extra close button tab control. Installed add on up available add ons. Available add ons. Selected. Tab. Next time pressing tab. Channel. And include search. Edit alt plus. This search box I am typing AI. And now I'm pressing tab. Available add-ons. List alt plus A. AI content describer status. Available. Yeah. Available. So AI content describer. This is the add-on. Let me press enter here. Context menu. Press down arrow and choose install. Install I. Add-on store. Available add-ons. Stable Wait dialog. For few AI seconds. content describer. Available add-ons. List alt plus A. AI content describer status. Downloading. Available version. 2024.05. Just I'm pressing download and up arrow. AI content describer status. Downloaded. Pending install. Available version. Two. Okay, so now it is downloaded. Now it, it requires to install. So to install this add-on, just restart your NVDA. Taskbar. Taskbar. So now I have successfully installed the NVIDIA add-on. Next, I need to configure this add-on. But before configuration, I need to generate the API key. Now this is the main part of this video. If you don't know how to generate the API key, then you cannot use this add-on. So there are many ways to generate API key. It depends on the AI tool or on the model which you want to use. Now, uh, the popular model is GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-4 Omni. If you want to use GPT-4, GPT-4 uh, Turbo or GPT-4 Omni API, then you have to go to platform.openai.com. There you need to pay 
and you will get api key for 3 months with some limitations also if you have the account like if you have the open ai account new account so you have that key but if your account is already older than 3 months so you do not have like that api key has been expired but we will use uh, another api tool not api tool like another ai model can you guess what is the name of the model yes we are going to use gemini because google is giving you free api key and you can use it for free there is a limitation but that limitation does not affect your work so let's see how we can get the gemini key. i mean gemini's api key to get the api key of google we need to open a browser here i am using brave brave new tab here i am typing aistudio.google.com a studio dot google dot com selected google ai studio busy https slash slash a studio dot google dot com button close heading so here you will button find close. some heading level one build with gemini heading use google see. ai studio some uh disclaimer and all so just press x for check boxes no next check pop button separators no intent develop in your own environment button get api key Okay, just click on view. get API key. Button get API link documentation. View button get API key. Dialog. Your use of Gemini API and Google AI Studio is subject to the link okay, Google API. Okay, now you need to press X. So first page you get, just click on get API key. Then next page you need to accept the terms. Clickable I consent to the Google API as terms of service okay, and the so just Gemini check API. Check. check, check. And then not accept terms not accept, of accept terms of accept service terms. Button. Okay, just press BB. You will get these buttons. Click on accept terms. Get API key, Google Once AI you click on accept terms, you will be redirected to this page. Out of. Now here press B again. First you need to go to top. Then press B again. Got it button. Click on got it. Click a button skip to Again uh, go to top and press B. Clickable navigation landmark. Get API key get button. Get API key. So press enter here. Get API key button. Now go to bottom of the page. Main landmark table with and press shift plus b or press shift plus tab create api key button create api key okay so press enter here safety setting reminder close dialog got safety it button setting safety reminder. setting reminder just close. click on got it no next button close button got it button dialog create api key close okay. create api so key button so next is create api separator heading level 2 button no and then close separator close. no and then create an api key create in a new API project key in a new if you project. don't have one all button create api key in new project okay create api key in a new project okay just you need to press enter here button create api key create api key button generating api key close heading okay. level 2 generating API, API, api key generating. heading level 2 button close separator api key generated close api key generated so press b for copy button copy key to clipboard button Copy the clipboard. Okay. So now we have successfully generated the API key. Next, we need to set up the NVIDIA add-on. To set up the NVIDIA add-on, go to NVIDIA menu. NVIDIA menu. Then press P forward by S. Set it. NVIDIA settings. General. Normal configuration. Then at the Do end, you will find this option. AI content describer. You can press end key. AI content describer 20 of 20. Press tab. AI content describer property page. Manage models button alt plus M. Click on manage models. Model configuration dialog. Categories. List alt plus C. GPT-4 vision 1 of 8. So GPT-4 vision is by default selected. To choose the Gemini model, press down arrow. GPT-4, GPT-4, Google Gemini Pro vision 4 of 8. Google Gemini Pro vision. That's great. Now press tab. Google Gemini Pro Vision property page about this model button. Tab. API key edit selected AI is aside. Zero SMPPL a seventy S zero BNTHNVG zero a six FXNX HM four. So this is the API key which I already given earlier. Now if I want, I can give the I can change this API key again as I have deleted that API key. So I just replace with the new one. API key edit focus AI is aside DPBKBZH. Now I'm pressing tab. Prompt edit multi line describe this image. These are the prompt. So here you can change the prompt. Prompt in the sense of you can ask the AI what this AI will do. Okay. By default, whatever prompt is given, it is enough for us. Reset maximum tokens edit selected 500. Maximum token. 
which we have selected 500 by default you will get it 250250 okay so what is this uh, token token is a thing uh, like when you send any a response any any queries to this api so how much token it will use okay it can use up to 1000 but i always recommend you to give 2000 i mean 250 or 500 or within it. seconds to wait for a response before time and now that it's selected 30 so how much seconds it will wait for the response by default it's selected 15 i have changed it to 30 so it will wait for 30 seconds if the response will not come it will stop okay button so click on okay button nvda settings ai content describer now we have successfully set up the uh, nvda next is model configure more open each result in the browsable dialog markdown will be rendered if possible checkbox not checked so you have to check this box checked so so that you will get the results in a uh, browse window okay Check. Remember slash cache descriptions of each item to save API quota checkbox not checked. Obviously, you should check this was checked if you are using any paid API keys. I mean paid API. Why? Because whenever suppose for example you have already used one time image recognition. Then second time if you are generating the same image, recognizing the same image. So it will not use your API quota. It will uh, give you the same results from its cache. Optimize images for size. OK button. Just click on OK. Button. Rest. It's great. Now our add-on is ready to work. Before uh, moving forward, I just want to tell you one more thing. Whenever first time you install this add-on, after installing the add-on, it will ask you to download some files. Please download them and restart your NVIDIA. OK. Without those files, it will not work properly. Now we have successfully installed the NVIDIA add-on. We have successfully configured using API keys. It's time to check whether this add-on will work or not. So to check this, I'm going to desktop. Folder view list top studio 11 of 20 FileZilla client 12 of now, 21. Now I am the focus on FileZilla client. So just to check what is the description of this focus. I am pressing insert shift U. Retrieving description using Google Gemini Pro Vision. Great. An image description. Image description. This is a square icon with rounded corners. It has a red background with a white letter F in the upper left corner and a blue up arrow to the right of the F. The word FileZilla is written in white text in the lower half of the icon with the word client below it. The entire icon has a gray border. Now, I am pressing just Ctrl plus A to this copy. Is a copy to clipboard. And I this can paste anywhere. I'm just pressing escape to close this dialog box. That's how we can use this in an uh, in an icon. If I want to open the context menu, I can open by using shift insert I. Context menu. Per model sub menu M. Model, you can change the model from Current here. Focus C. Current focus. Navigator object. And Navigator entire object. Screen e. Entire screen. If you want to get the description of entire screen, you can get it. Take a picture T. Take a picture, it will take a picture. Face detection, no Face API detection. required. Sub -menu. As I don't have any camera, I cannot describe what is there in the face detection. But that uh, it, will, it will say like how much, uh, like it will help you to record your faces. Record, not record, like it will help you to record the videos while you are joining online sessions. It will help you to do the, it will tell you how much. Uh, where is your face position? Okay. Model sub menu M. Current focus. So these C. are some options available under the context menu. Now another interesting feature of this add-on is you can just copy the image and get the description. So let me go to downloads. Run dice. Downloads. Last week grouping X blind blind two dot J. So this is an image of a blind person or a person wearing a sunglass. So to get the image description, let me copy it to its clipboard. Now I'm pressing Shift Insert Y and see. Retrieving description using Google Gemini Pro Vision. Pain image description. The image is in black and white. There are two elderly people, one with a white beard and glasses, the other wearing sunglasses and a hat. They are holding hands in the middle of a busy city street with cars going in opposite directions. It's super Down. easy to get the image description even without using Be My AI or any third-party application, isn't it? 
so this is how you can use this add-on and enhance your tech experience with the ai content describer obviously vi tech academy is also a great part because we have shown you how to use so like the video and i i am just keeping one aim of this video 1000 views and 500 likes isn't it possible yes i know it is possible you made it so this is how you can use this addon for your daily purpose if you find this content useful press the like button share this video with your loved ones and if you have any doubts any comments anything you want to say feel free to type into the comment section that's it guys for the day thank you for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next video till then stay safe stay happy bye bye Thank <music> you.